Who's, what's that? Oh, wait, this way over. Right there, perfect. So here, established a cross body ride. Here, a lot of breakdowns we can use. We can grab here, rip him down. The top ride is a great way to start because it really puts me in position to start with the hammer lock. And if we have time today, I'm going to go through a full Nelson attack where we go through all the different Nelsons for submissions. But this is why I would start with those as well. Anyways, going to the top right here, go ahead and just turtle. He's down at turtle. This is the most common position you're going to face here because the low defense and the high defense are transition positions. This is more defensive as far as controls. I'm worried about putting things in here because I might not get it back if he's controlling his gaps effectively. But I did manage to get my cross body right. So I'm going to make sure that leg's nice and deep. I'm going to come over here, cross waves here, and hook my feet. Now, for the top ride, the leg that's hooked goes on top for the figure four. I'm going to come over here on this arm and just suck it in and hip in. That's all I did. If I hip in on that, can you put your hip down? No. So I've got total hip control right now on him. That's how we do things like the further nails. Now, the reason I did this is first, I needed to break him down to start the crap, to start the hammer lock, to make it really, really effective. I'm going to come out of this and switch to my crab ride. So I'm going from one ride to the next. For the crab ride, it's important my feet are below the knees and my knees are below his hips. It has to be like that. Which way If my feet are too low, I should just be too high. Up here, don't let me. I don't even budge. I go a little lower now, I've got leverage. My knees below the, hip, below the hips, my feet are below the knees. And right here, too easy. I pop right open. So this gives you the same impact or effect as having two hooks in. Doing this and putting that cutting bone in the back of the head, he's not going anywhere. He cannot come to base. I've got total control. Control, the first priority. Now here's the arm that I want to hammer lock. We're never going to be able to grab the arm and just pull it through. It's not going to happen. So I have to make that happen. This arm, though, is impaired. This is the one I have to keep on there because you'll see different grips come across like here, like here. If I do this, I'm goofed up. I'm going to have to switch. I need the outside arm, the one that's going to do the hammer lock itself, must maintain wrist contact. So I can't do this. You can go here or here. I prefer this one. So I have this. Now what I'm going to do is make it, I'm basically going to run them over and pull this arm underneath it. So my feet go from the crab ride, outside on the outside of his knees, lower my chest, and I drive. You okay? Yeah. I thought I heard a giggle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I push off my feet and run him over. Now that arm is where I need it. As I start to transition out, this arm comes out. I turn down, turning the cutting mode down on that arm. I back step around to here. Can you hide that for me a little bit? If you come around and he's hiding it, he's smart. He knows what I'm trying to do. So he's he's doing his job. He's countering me. I take this other hand. Just like this, right on top. Pull it up a little bit, so I pull him up, turn this fist, and pry it. That hand will come right out with the cutting mode. Everybody catch that? Yes, sir. Causing pain, right? I'm going to double up on it again. I'm going to get a better angle. I'm being nice by putting my knee down. I really want to be here. Okay, a lot of pressure? Yep. Now, the hammer lock works slightly different than the double wrist lock. I'm going to run it straight up his spine. Straight flat for me. As best you can. Yeah. I'll just lay on you. Sorry. Up the spine and then away. How far away did that have to go? Maybe an inch? That's your hammer lock. Okay. The series that we're going to start, we're going to work to get the north south control seated position. To do that, I need to get him up on his side. So I'm going to open the door for him. I take off a little bit of weight and pull him away. It forces him up on his side. As soon as he gets here, I release with this one, throw the underhook, connect the grip. Tight. When I put my knees in, I'm not blocking his head. I'm blocking his torso. One here, one all the way over to his chest. One here. This is my control position. He's completely screwed right now. <laughs> this is where I want you guys to get. This is where we're going to start our attacks. Okay? And the reason I'm pinning his chest instead of his head is if I get here, you've got a strong guy, and I'm not quick enough to put my fist to the ground for the short arms for the crooked head scissor, he can still belly out. Belly out, and I've lost everything. So come back to your side. If my knees are deep, try to belly out. I can't. I have shoulder control. I have to control the shoulders or the hips 
from top position or I have no control. So the keys to maintaining top position are wide base and either shoulder control or hip control. Shoulders take precedence. Got it guys? This is where I want to get. So let's do it again. Yeah. So I got cross body. I'm here. I make sure the legs nice and deep. I come across horizontal. I hook my feet here. Okay. And I'm gonna go right here. Okay. Doesn't take much at all. One of the quickest breakdowns. And sometimes you, if this is deep enough, you got it good. You won't have to touch their hands. Okay. Come around. I can pressure the head. Cutting bone. One side the crab. The other side. There's my crab right. The knees are below the hips. The feet are below the knees. Put your hand up. His hands here. I see it. I'm clear for my attack. One hand comes under. This is my key hand because this is the side that's going to make the hammer lock happen. Cross face. Put them both on here. The feet come to the outside now and I lower my body so my chest is below his upper back. I drive through to get his arm where I need it. This arm comes out. Back step to here. Okay. He won't let me have it. This hand goes on here. Pulls up. Turn the cutting bone. It comes right out. Using this one to turn. So I'm making a move for, because of pain. Pull up and pull out. But notice I'm press, keeping pressure here. I've got to keep this pinned with that. If I pull his arm up, look where it goes. Look how far I have to go. But this is pinned, look. Nothing. So we have to take all that slack out. And it's all based on control and pinning. So even though he's face down, he's still pinned in a manner. He's down, pull up, push down there. Done. Now I want to put him on his side. Can you come in? Take off a little slack, give him the path of least, least resistance. This hand stays on. I throw my underhook quick for control. Slide the knee in, throw the knee way over here. Controlling here on that wrist. Okay, guys? Yes, sir. All right, let's do it. One, two, three.